And so when I ask you to consider change, I'm encouraging you to consider to be ready for it, that it's always going to happen. And it's going to happen in language and technology and music. It's going to happen practically in everything you see, in clothes, in styles. We have 80 tattoo shops in this town. When I was a kid, nobody had a tattoo. Well, a couple sailors maybe, a couple marines maybe, but nobody had tattoos. And now, I'm not going to ask you to do this, but almost all of you have a tattoo. It's like, it's like commonplace. And I'm not saying that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm saying this value free. I kind of wish I didn't miss the tattoo thing. Really, the tattoo thing's kind of cool. I mean, I, I would have got a, probably a cat in a hat, maybe a, just a hat, like right here on my calf. Yes. And my kids are like, get the hat, dad, get the hat. And they still say, get the cat in the hat hat. Because I think the cat in the hat is really cool. Because the cat in the hat like, gets this shit all cleaned up like in one frame of that book. It, the place is a mess, right? You all read that book, right? The place is a mess. Go back and look at the book. It's a mess up until like the last two pages. Dude gets that shit cleaned up like that. Now, how cool is that? I want the cat in the hat hat right there. But I miss that because I don't want to look like that old guy trying to look young, you know? <clears throat> Same thing with hairstyles. Like, you all got any kind of hair. When I was younger, everybody had the same Beatles cut. Now that Bieber cut is like really making a big message in the younger, you know, you go to junior high school, everybody's got that kind of Bieber thing going on with the hair coming straight down. I'm like, okay, I get it. But then somebody's going to like punk it all out. And you all got to do that. I mean, you know people that have mohawks. We had a dude in here a couple weeks ago had a mohawk. I don't even know where you are anymore. <laughs> I'm like, wow, you can wear a mohawk. You can wear all kinds of different clothes. You can wear your pajamas to class. Shit, you wear your pajamas to class. Some of you walk around with your pants three quarters of the way down around your ass. Your ass is showing as you walk. I'm like, wow, I don't want to see your ass. <laughs> I mean, I think about the language you use. When I was a kid, people would use words like, golly gee. <laughs> Keen, ooh, keen. You have parents that still say groovy, right? Groovy, and I'm like, whoa, check your watch. <laughs> it is the 21st century. 1972 wants its word back. But you use words like, we use bad to mean good. You, mean, you use sick, you use wicked. I was a hot mess is like really an expression that you're all using right now. And I listen to these expressions, I'm like, oh man, I wish I could talk like that without sounding like a dick, you know? Because <laughs> that's what happens to me. I'm like, oh God, what is it? Who's that guy? He thinks he's cool, he's old. <laughs> and I went snowboarding, because I love snowboarding. I, love to snow I learned to snowboard a bunch of years ago because I was little and I didn't want to get hurt. And I thought, I'll learn to snowboard. Snowboarding's cool. Really, how cool is snowboarding? Like, shh, you're making noise, gears are looking at you like, Right? Skiers are like, whoa. I mean, Aspen didn't. I mean, it kills me that Aspen has the X Games. They didn't even let people snowboard up until a few years ago. And we get done snowboarding. I'm hanging out with the snowboard dudes. We're hanging out. We're talking. I said to the guy, hey, how was your day? How'd it go? Did you have fun? Man, was that, it was awesome today. Great snow, huh? Yeah, dude. Sick. I said, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you got sick. I said, no, dude. You know, he's like moving his hands all kinds of ways. <laughs> Putting him in places he probably shouldn't have. <laughs> nah, dude, sick. Like, yeah, I heard you. <laughs> Sorry, I had fun. It was bad. It was groovy. It was keen. He said, no, bro. No, bro. It's not even bro anymore. It's like bra. Like, no, bra. It was, it was sick. Nasty. It was nasty. It was a nasty curveball. I mean, there's like these words that you use. 